Hey guys, it's me, Crazy Honda Chris, and here behind me, I'm gonna have a 2023 Honda Ridgeline, so let's go walk around now. All right, so here we are right outside the 2023 Honda Ridgeline RTL. It's in radiant red. This is one step above the sport package, all right? I'm gonna walk around this vehicle to show you guys all the cool standard features and functions to save you time before you go out to your local Honda dealership to take out for a test drive. Now, you guys, any further questions, drop them down below in the comments. I'll do my best to answer those questions from that point. Then also feel free to check out my other videos. It's gonna help you set up your vehicle settings. Then I also have tips and tricks check that out to get more information from that point all right so now let's get going about this rtl all right so here we are let's get going up to the moroni sticker as usual guys you're welcome to pause the video right about there if you want to explore your own up on the top right hand corner is going to talk about your fuel economy as you can see you got 18 for the city 24 for the highway with a combined of 21 down here on the right hand side you can see the safety ratings there who doesn't love safety all right up here you can see where the vehicle made at it's a u.s made product as you can see, Lincoln, Alabama. All right. Uh, this one is a 23 RTL, as we kind of already discussed from their point, radiant red. I'm going to also throw some additional color options right up there for you guys to see what options are available. Then also, there's going to be some plus charge for that particular color. All right. So ch check that out. Now, as we get back into the Moroni sticker, this one does not have any manufacturer packages, just a standard RTL. So here's the price point with that premium color. And then here's a list of those standard features and functions. We're gonna to try to cover all these here for you guys today. Now those additional packages you can get from American Honda, I'm gonna throw those up there right now for you guys. So take a moment, take a look at those so you know exactly those options or what you're getting from there. Does it add more value to you? Drop it down in the comments. I'd love to hear you guys' input about that, all right? Now, you're gonna have two key fobs, remote start comes standard. All you have to do is hit lock, hold this button down here for a few seconds. You'll see the lights flash down below. The it's going to start right up. It's going to heat and cool. Runs in 10 minute intervals. All right. So 10 minutes have passed and it automatically shuts off. So let's say it runs for a grand total of eight minutes. I repeat that process. It runs 10 minutes from that. So now it runs for a grand total of 18 minutes. All right. So there we go. You can simply turn it off. Then there we go. Now we're going to step here towards the front of the vehicle. All of your Honda sensing features are standard. I'm talking about your lane keep assist, adaptive cruise, your forward collision, road departure, all of that standard right here. Now you have a 3.5 V6 with a nine speed automatic transmission and a heavy duty transmission cooler. I'm gonna throw a horsepower and torque right up there so you guys will be in the know. So right here from the get go, you have LED lights, you can have LED headlights, fog lights, and tail lights, all right. Now you're gonna have your turning indicators down below as I hit the lock button, you can see that within the fog lights. This is gonna be your daytime running lights right here, wraps around, you get the chrome action on the front nose, kind of comes up around right in there for you guys, all right? So, as you see this front end, it's a nice kind of straight little more bulk front end right there. You get these 18 inch alloy rims. I'm going to step here towards the side profile of the vehicle. I'm going to throw some exterior measurements up there so you guys will be in the know how it compares to you guys' current vehicle or what else is out there. Will it fit in your garage? What do you think about the size? All right. It's going to have a 5,000 pound towing capacity, all wheel drive. Now, as we look in here at the side profile of the vehicle, you're going to have body colored handles, you've got chrome action around the windows, rear tinted windows. You also have a body colored shark fin tent up there. Then you're going to have your side mirrors body colored with a led turn in indicator right here these are going to be breakaways all right so pretty much you gotta get up there push them if you want to fold them in or out so if you hit them you're set now we're also going to have your smart entry system so let's say you have the key fob with you in your pocket your purse your jacket you walk up put your hand in the handle it unlocks it all right and you can simply take your key fob with you hit this button and it locks everything or you can just enable your walk away auto lock feature so when I have the key fob with me, we walk away, I run into the dealership here quick, here I go, I get 10 feet away, boom, all the doors automatically lock from there. You can turn that on or off. Now, if you accidentally leave your keys in the car, sometimes it happens, I understand, you know, don't think about it, it's like, whoops, there we go, drop it right in there, right? You hit the lock button, or you walk away, you cannot lock your keys in the car. Those days are over, all right? They're gonna have a capless gas tank right here as you select that. No longer $2 cap to argue, debate, 
with or worry about replacing down the road. It's a simple slide and go. We're going to step here towards the back now. Once again, you got LED tail lights. This makes a bold statement as you apply into the brakes for safety, of course. Ridge line badge of honor. You got your all wheel drive down right over here. You have a multi angle rear camera that's going to be within on the handle right here. All right. Now you can see you have your hitch, got a plug, dual chrome tipped exhaust. We have a dual action tailgate, so pretty much it's unlocked. There we go. Folds down your traditional way. Nice flat bed. So as life happens, you're great. You're set for success. All right. Then you're also going to have your dual action tailgate. So you get the release right here. There's a handle right there. Pull this right open. And there we go. All right. So there's even more on top of this. You're going to have an in-truck bed. You can use it as dry storage. You can use it as a cooler when you go out for tailgating. Come stand with carpet mats, by the way. Here's your plug so you can let all the water and stuff out. You got your spare tire, your tools and stuff you may need there just in case for those events. All right. And this whole thing is lockable if you want to lock it up. Now you got your tie downs. Come standard. Then you got some little additional storage spot right in here. All right, twist that up, lock it right back in. And then there we go. That's going to be the bed. We're going to jump here to the back seat. Door opens up pretty wide now. Easy for anyone to get in and out of. You got nice leather right here. You got cup holder you know about power windows pretty easy straightforward then you're going to have your rear seats they're going to be magic seats so simply you pull this up both sides you can bring those up or down you can hide your selfie stick down or additional tools or whatever you may need you know just additional cargo space all right now to release that pull that snaps right back in very nice and easily all right now of course we have leather cup holders this whole thing comes right up. Squeeze it and push it down. You're going to have anchors or car seats behind each headrest. So you can accommodate. It does not come standard with all season mats, but I have them in here so you know what they look like. You have courtesy pockets on back of the two front seats. Adjustable vents from right there. We have stadium seats, so be careful if you have a backseat driver. I can see over you now, and I can tell you how to drive if I really wanted to, all right? So there's that from there. Now, also, before we jump up front, I'm going to throw some interior measurements up there so you guys will be in the know, all right? Take a moment. Take a look at that. How does it compare to you guys' current vehicle? As if there are going to be enough room for your pets, friends, and cargo, or whoever else is going to be brave enough to tag along with you guys. All right, we're going to open up the front door here quick. You guys can check this out. Quick little view. We have your leather armrests. You know about power windows. You got your power locks, your window lock button, just in case anyone misbehaves. Then down below, you have a nice little tray area, a little deep, small tray, then additional cubby space down below. Now, right up here, you're going to have your two seat memory. So you can save the position of your seat right here and then your side mirrors too as well. Then we're gonna also going to have your blind spot information system. So this bad boy lights up when you're driving down the road. When a car is in your blind spot, then we have a turning indicator on while someone's in a blind spot, then it beeps at you and it flash too as well. All right. So that's pretty nice. You can customize all of your Honda sensing features the way you guys want it. All right. Now, before we dive right in, a couple of things before I forget, you have an acoustic windshield. This makes it more of a quieter ride as you're out there for your highway driving. All right. Then a quick one more thing here in the back. You are going to have some little tie downs. All right. All right down here. So... You got one on each side. All right. So right here on the driver's seat is power adjustable. Goes forward, back, up, and down. You got your tilt right here, as you can see in that. Just kind of tilts. You got your recline, and then you got your lumbar from right there. You got your pedals to get, you know, stop and go. Park and brake, hood release right here. Let's pop this and show you some of the basic common courtesy stuff now. 
All right, so here we are, right underneath the hood, guys. Um, you already know about horsepower, torque, and all those goodies here. So let's just point out some common courtesy stuff that you may be doing yourself, all right? Now you got your brake fluid cap right here. Your battery connection is going to be down below. Not the most easiest thing to get to, but it's not that too bad. Pretty much take off this plastic. You got a clamp hose. Take this off, then you can get to your battery. You have your oil cap right down here. The dipstick is a bright orange. You can find that between any time, day or night. Then you got your washer fluid right there, all right? You guys have more of those advanced questions, contact your technicians at your local Honda dealership. I'm sure they have all the answers from those uh, from there. All right, let's jump right back up front. All right, so we just need the key fob with you guys. It's going to be in your pocket, your purse, your jacket, whatever the case is. So as you step on the brake, you can see that it kind of lights right up. Hit that, and everything lights up from there. It'll turn right on. Now, as we're getting the climate set where we need to be at, over here on the left-hand side, you got some buttons. You got your mirror selectors between left and right. Then you got the D-pad to adjust accordingly, okay? Now, you're going to have your econ mode, too. So when you select econ, you can see it's on by the green leaf right up there. It's on. As I select it again, and it's off. Econ is going to make you more fuel efficient, most effective for your highway driving. So depending on how aggressive you're driving, you may see anywhere from 2 to 4 more miles to a gallon, depending, once again, you know, are you towing something or you're not, you know, those kind of driving habits, all right? Um, it's going to be sacrificing AC power, so keep that in mind. Those really hot summer days, you want to be comfortable or fuel efficient. That also is going to affect the power of the acceleration, too, okay? So there it is. I'm going to turn that off. Now, with your mirror selectors, as you go between left and right, all right? So let's say I get my mirror selected the way I need it to. All right, got it. It's set the way I want. I keep it over here on the left. Then every time you put your vehicle... And to reverse, you got the reverse tilt down. All right, whole point of that is trying to catch some more of my blind spot down towards by the bumper, down by the tires. As soon as I'm kind of pillow, you know, parking, as I'm backing up to something, there you go. If you don't like that, I know it's a common question, boom, put it in the center. It moves right back. That's how you turn that off, okay? It only does one at a time. So if I'm over there, I go on the right hand side, there we go. It tilts down, I turn it off, it tilts right back up, all right? Down below, you got some additional buttons. Your road departure, it's on, it's off. Now it's on. You forward a collision. If you ever want to turn that off, you can. It's right there. It's a click and hold. Same with your vehicle stability assist. Then your cargo lights, too, as well. For right back there. You can see when they're on or off by simply hitting this button and right up here on the driver's interface, you get the green light on. I select it again. It's off. All right. Adjustment for your steering wheel. It's a telescope. So it goes in and out and up and down. It's there we go. Once you get it, you might have to use a little bit of force, adjust as you see fit from there. Now we're gonna focus right here on the wheel now. It's leather, all right. You have all of your safety features over here on the right hand side. You can see when they're available by green riding. Right now that's not. So if I hit this main button, there we go. You got your lane keep assist system, then you have your adaptive cruise control, okay. Your cruise control is this button. You hit that, then you adjust your speeds from there. You can cancel or resume. Now your adaptive part's right here. So as I'm selecting that, I'm selecting the distance between you and the car in front of you, all right? So this is what we're doing. More lines means further, less lines means gonna be closer. So let's say you're going, I don't know, let's say 45, car in front is going 40, finds a car in range, you'll beep, you turn that beep on or off. You can see that within my vehicle settings videos to help you guys out or my how-to videos from there then it slows you down and maintain that distance all right if you guys don't like that hey that's not a problem let's just make a standard cruise click and hold no longer adaptive cruise is just cruise mode now the normal cruise all right once again one turn back on boom now your lane keep assist is for highway driving between 45 and 90 miles an hour you see the hollowed out dotted lines because we're not going the proper speed if we were it'd be filled in white dotted lines if we're going the proper speed and it's actively working. So as you're driving down the highway between 45 and 90, once again, you grab your lanes a little bit, whoop, it will beep at you, turn that beep on or off, then it brings you back and recenters you too as well. All right, then it also gives you a lane departure, you know, yellow right up here to let you guys know you get a visual, all right? So once again, you can customize all this, you get all the beeps, none of the beeps, or have all of it on or all of it off, or choose parts of it, all right? Now we're gonna have your paddle shifters right here. Your wiper stick, 
adjustable right here. And then you got your lights right over here. You have auto lights. You got your fog lights right here. You can see they're all off, now on, off. Turning indicators. Now we have a, <clears throat> excuse me. Now down below, you gotta be hands free for your phone. You can pick up, hang up, back up, voice command. Hey, call Crazy Honda Chris on mobile phone. Gives me a call, I answer you guys' questions. They have all of your media controls right here for you between volume, different sources, different stations. That's it right there. Then you have the little quick point reference stuff. As you kind of select in this, you'll see it over here on the driver's interface or on the touch screen, I mean, between phone and music. And then you're gonna have this too as well. Let's thumb through this. So you have a direct tire pressure and show you which tire is low. Oil, reset. So if you wanna change your speed distance, you can right here, just click and hold, reset. And there we go. All right, so that's pretty much everything right here on the steering wheel. Let's dive right in here on the driver's interface, kind of point out some cool things here with you guys so you know the layout. So you got your temperature gauge right here, your tank, it's right here. You got a full tank of gas. All right, you're gonna have 75 degrees outside. It feels a lot warmer than that today. Mileage down below, we're in park from there. This option right here shows you for your trip a, as you can see, it says A right there, because if I go down one, it's gonna go to B. All right. I'm right there. Then you gotta get tachometer, everything right here. Your speeder meter are right there. Now over here, you get this white light on both sides. That's gonna be our fuel efficiency backlight, all right? So as you're driving down the road, you're being fuel efficient, it goes from white to green as a visual coach. And when you're not, it goes green to white to let you know when you are being fuel efficient from there. All right, so we're back now, done from there. Let's talk about the touch screen now, okay? So you get the nice, beautiful touch screen here, as you guys can clearly see. You got some buttons here on the left-hand side of the touch screen. Home, you got your menu, back button. You got a little start and move. So let's say this bugs you for your day or night time driving. Just tap this bad boy a couple times. You can adjust the brightness, or you can completely turn it off. So there we go, just tap it again, and then it turns it all right back on, all right? So you can pair up your phones. You can pair up multiple phones from there back button takes us back home your information screen you can choose what kind of information you want to display up here from there audio let's turn this on all right so we're gonna have Sirius XM So you have FM, AM, Sirius XM. You don't have a CD player, but just download your stuff onto a flash drive from that point. Then it's a plug and play. All right, so pretty nice and easy. And then you have an iPod right over here. A smartphone connection for your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So it's a plug and play from there. You have this USB right here. So if you have an Apple phone, it's a plug. There we go. It displays right up there on the touch screen. Right here, Apple CarPlay. If it's an Android phone, you have to download Android Auto, allow all the permissions, then it's a plug and play, boom, Android Auto. It takes your Apple Maps, other compatible apps, displays it through it while charging your device, all right? It has to be plugged in. Now let's get back into music options. Then you have Bluetooth, then you have an aux plug-in too, all right? So now that's everything there for music. Go back to the home screen. You got your time right up top. You got your Honda Link. Check out HondaLink.com. Tells you what your vehicle and your trim is compatible with with Honda Link. Once again, we already talked about Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Then you got your vehicle settings from here. I do have videos that go more in depth of what's in there. All right. As you guys find those videos, you have questions pertaining to that kind of stuff, drop comments down below. I'll do my best to answer those as I come across those. All right. So now that's pretty much everything right here on the touchscreen. We're going to back right out and look at the whole dashboard here quick. You can see you got an adjustable vent here. You got one right over there. And then we have a couple more. Boom. And then boom from there. All right. You got your hazard lights if you ever need these bad boys. It's right here. Now we're going to come down and look at the center controls. You got your climate. It's a dual climate. Passenger, they can mess with theirs. Oh, guess what? We can mess with theirs back there too as well. Or we just have everything synced up and have all the power from there. You get different modes. You 
You got your fan speed. AC on or off, air circulation. Turn everything on or off. You have auto button. The vehicle's going to do everything in its power to keep it at that temperature when you hit that. Then you have your RR settings if I just want to mess with theirs. Front defroster, rear defroster with heated side mirrors, all right here. Now down below, if you want to keep your seats warm, heated seats, there we go. Three tier, high, medium, and low. High, medium, and low. Just a little place to, you know, store whatever you want at. Another little tray here. You have a 12-volt plug-in. Then we already talked about the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto plug-in from there. This whole thing is removable if you need to, you know, clean it out. Life happens, I understand. Then you got your cup holders right down below. Now you're going to have no shifter. It's all going to be buttons. So let's say you're driving down the road, you smack a button. You can't just accidentally do that. You have to apply onto the brake pedal, all right? So as I put my foot down on the brake and I put this in reverse and it pulls back towards you, you can see that. See, once again, it's a red light. Pull it back, it goes to green light, and then automatically displays right up there too as well, so you know you're in reverse, and then your multi-angle rear camera automatically displays from there. Now down here below, it's gonna show you how the camera's gonna act, okay? So first one selected is nice 180 view, catches more of your blind spot. Then you have a more of a straight behind your view. As you see the back of that truck, on your normal view, boom, we see a lot more what's going on, man. And then we have a straight down shot from your rear bumper. And then this one's on and off, now it's off. Now it's on for your cross traffic monitoring system. I do have a video that shows you guys visually on how that works. So if a car is coming from your blind spot when the vehicle's in reverse from behind you, it does alert you what side it's coming from and points out too as well on this touch screen for you. All right, now another cool thing, turn it, there we go. It guides you right there, okay? And then also uh, changes colors. Now you got your neutral, it goes from red to, sorry, green to red. Then you have your drive. And then you have your S mode or sport mode, depending on how you guys want to call it, right there too as well. All right, so, so your S mode, sport mode is gonna change your gear ratio. You'd be using more of this um, too as well. I can see a lot of people using S mode when they're towing, going down steep hills or going up, that kind of stuff. That's when you want to put that in play, all right? Now you're gonna put that right there Back in park so it's going to change your gear ratio i don't <laughs> i got distracted someone waved at me sorry about that guys so s mode is going to change your gear ratio for a little more throttle fun response and also with your engine braking now down below here you're going to have your intelligent traction management you have a couple different options normal snow mud and sand is going to change how the car is going to perform to optimize your handling in those environments you can see when it's on, on certain mode. Why, well, there we go. We're going to keep it on snow. Then it has a little snow down below. Put in mud. Let's see mud. Mud. Turns off your vehicle stability assist. Sand probably does the same thing. Vehicle stability assist off. Yep, kept it. Reduced. And there we go. Idle stock comes standard. If you don't like that, I know I hear about it all the time on my channel, guys. If you don't like it, just remember every time you get into the car, hit this button. All right, now it's disabled. Yes, when you get back in the car, it's gonna be back enabled. Honda has it set up that way. They're hoping you'll forget to save a little bit when you're idled, I guess, all right? You can see it's disabled by that orange A right there. I hit this button, turn it back on, it's no longer there. So this is your quick visual confirmation when it's off and on, off and then on. All right, now down here below, we got this area. Let's check it out. You're gonna have a 12 volt plug in. You're gonna have a USB and an aux right down here. Take a quick gander. Then right here, we have a nice little hideaway tray. I'm gonna hide my quarters here so my six year old son doesn't grab those all the time. And then that's everything down below. We're gonna have our own armrest. It's a little ratchet. So I'll just kind of bring it up a little bit. It clicks. So every time it clicks, you can stop it from right there. And I can reset by pulling it all the way back up. We have an auto dimming rear view mirror, garage door opener, a one touch power moonroof. So now we can play with that. Let some fresh air in. It opens, it tilts. So get it to tilt. All you have to do is push it in. Let's push that in so you guys can see. And then there we go. It's tilt. Let's close it. One touch push right there. And then this one is going to be power sliding the rear window. You have to click and hold it. All right. This will be for your lights. 
a dome light. So now put it in the center, I open up a door, and then your dome lights, map lights, all that will come on. You can have them on, you can have them completely off, no matter what. Then you got your other lights right here. Turn these bad boys off. Place for the sunglasses. There we go. Little conversation mirrors. I can keep eye on friends, pets, cargo, whatever's back there. Hey guys, thanks again for watching my video. Hopefully it was very helpful. If it was, please consider hitting the like and subscribe. I spend a lot of time on these videos to help you guys out, and I greatly appreciate that as well. And don't forget to share with a friend or family that might be looking at these, all right? Well, thanks again, guys. We'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.